The four finger rasqueado or the C-A-M-I rasqueado is probably one of the oldest rasqueados used in flamenco guitar. It's even used in some classical guitar, but in a slightly different format. Of course, the problem with this one is that because there are more fingers, it, they're more variables and it can be done incorrectly. I'm Diego Alonso from DiegoAlonsoMusic.com and today I'm going to break down exactly how to learn and apply the four finger rasqueado in your music so that it can sound good, can sound rhythmically correct and much more musical. If you're new to this channel, I post weekly content on guitar technique, science-based practice strategies, educational videos on student repertoire, uh, performances, and quite a bit more. So if you like what you see today, please remember to subscribe and definitely share this video with anyone you know who's learning guitar or who would like to learn guitar. You'll remember from the introductory video that I made on the nine rasqueados that the four finger rasqueado, C-A-M-I rasqueado, sounds like this. Let's dive right in and break down the four finger rasqueado, add in some exercises and make sure that you're learning and improving this technique the right way. If you watched the last video on the AMI rasqueado, then this one should be a piece of cake for you. So it's the same thing that we did before with the AMI, but we're adding the C finger first. So same setup, lower back straight, no hunching at the neck or the upper back, arm comfortably relaxed on the guitar, a little bit of flexion in the wrist, very minimal ulnar deviation, and you're ready to go. Thumb on the sixth string, Remember we did A, M, I, I from the previous video. Now all we're gonna do, make sure that you bring this pinky side of the hand closer to the guitar. So you're gonna pivot a little bit, right? From here, you're gonna pivot this way, right? Otherwise the pinky's just gonna miss. So pivot a little bit, get closer. You're gonna be coming at the strings at a little bit of an angle. See that? Not, not perpendicular like this. A little bit of an angle, just be comfortable. Natural position, okay? And we're gonna go C. Right, C, A, M, and I, the nails are all above the sixth string. So that's a really crucial part of this exercise. Make sure the other fingers don't extend when the other fingers extend, all right? So just C by itself. It's a light flick, not hard. Don't worry about volume, just worry about the mechanics. Worry about the movement with lightness now, okay? We'll just do this together. Remember the pinky side of the hand closer to the guitar, and we're gonna extend C. We're gonna do this twice. Counting at three, starting on the one. So one, two, three, pinky. One, two, three, pinky. Again, one, two, three, C. Last one, two, three, C. Keep C out. Now A, one, two, three, A. One, two, three, A. Hold that. Next one, M. One, two, three, M. One, two, three, M. Next one, I. One, two, three, I. Remember what we did in the last video? When I extended for these, you have to curl in the other fingers a little bit. So this seesaw movement, right? So I extends, the other fingers start to curl like this, right? So I extends, these fingers start to curl a little bit. You can see it a little better this way. There we go. And then when I comes up, hitting just the first three or four strings, you're gonna bring all the fingers up back to their starting position, okay? So that's the practice there. Eye down, curl a little bit, right? Eye down, curl a little bit. Let's try that together. One, two, three, eye down, curl the others, relax. One, two, three, eye down, curl the others. Last one, two, three, eye down, curl the others. Hold that position. Eye is gonna come up and you're gonna bring the other fingers up with it without hitting the strings. Remember, light, Relax, this one's a little more subtle. This stroke is a little more subtle than the others. Up, back to position. Hold that. Up, back to position, starting position. One, two, three, I up. Two, three, I up. One, two, three, I up. Last one, one, two, three, I up. Just like the other ones, you wanna start combining each movement. So uh, uh, C, A, C, A. A, M, and then you do M, I, M, I, and then you're gonna do I, I, and then multiple fingers, C, A, M, and so forth, okay? Eventually, C, A, M, I, I, relax. C, A, M, I, I, relax. Let's try all of them together. See how you feel about that. Really nice and slow. One, two, three, and C, A, I, I, relax. 
C A M I I relax C A M I I last one relax C A M I I okay like the others you want to start combining the fingers from the next sequence to start building a more uh, continuous loop okay and just like the AMI we're going for a rhythmic evenness okay so we don't want this that has its place but not for this video we're doing rhythmic separation that's the one you're going to hear the most frequently so make sure to stick with that i think the idea of practicing with variability is definitely recorded in long-term memory at this point i've said it so many times i will say it again make sure that you practice this technique different ways never practice any technique that you learn the same way all the time that's actually going to slow your progress you always want to change your volumes quite a bit really super quiet really loud change your tone your tempo your rhythm uh, obviously, just like I mentioned in the exercises, make sure that you have an even, clear distinction rhythmically between the fingers, but overall you can change your general rhythm of the whole exercise. Variability is always going to help you improve your, te your uh, technique faster and will make your technique better. If you like this video, then definitely check out the next one in the series, which is the Dragging Rascal, which is C-A-M-I-P. If you haven't seen it already, make sure to check out this one over here, which is the intro video on all nine rascalo, so you can get a general overview of what they're like. But before you click that, don't forget to click the like button to help this video appear higher in search results, and of course, click the notification bell so that you know when I post the next video. Thank you so much, everybody, and I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.